Right now we're in Rishon Lezion in the Yes Planet because we're going to an IMAX movie. So we have some popcorn and we got some cola and now we're waiting for the movie. What's the name of the movie? Ed Astra. Ed Astra. It's with Brad Pitt. So we, we all and we expected it to be good. His burning is mine. Yeah, and they share the same body. It's amazing news. Okay. So we finished watching Brad Pitt in space, a.k.a. Ad Astra. It was all right, so I'll give it a six, but I feel it was uh, way too long and quite slow. And to be honest, you couldn't really connect to any of the characters. Well, Brad Pitt was the main character, but they were all missing an interesting and meaningful backstory. And since the movie was so long, I feel like they could focus more on the character backstory than the visual effect. Plus, the whole vibe of the movie is quite heavy and serious. So it's definitely not a movie for anyone. Uh, it's not a movie I would recommend or would watch again. But anyway, that's my opinion. When we finished watching the movie, we went exploring the space since we were already in the area. Ooh, it is something me and Ken will never do. No, I'm kidding. I already do. I already had my fair share of uh, thrill and chills. Ready, set, and here come the screams. It's not that high, it's quite light. spot some dolphins. I'm trying to see them as well. See there is a boat on the dolphin. Hey guys, so right now me and Henchan are on our way to a place called a Retro Pancake Bar. It's a place designed like an old diner and we all have some vegan pancakes that we're gonna try. So we'll see you there. We're here. Aha, uh -huh, right there. Pancake Great Row Bar. Especially vegan menu, make it easier to choose than like the normal one, which we appreciate. So we pass on all the options and we decided to take the chunky monkey. It's two pancakes that come with uh, nuts, a lot of nuts, uh, chunky monkey ice cream, bananas, and little chocolate uh, sprinkles. So we also took the soda drink, uh, pineapple taste, in the old fashioned way. There is the old-fashioned soda. Does it have an old style, old taste? It's a smoky flavor of pineapple. Smoky pineapple? Mmm, -hmm. never tasted this before. It's 
feel like something I drink as a kid. Yeah, I think I will also have popsicle in this taste. So here we got our pancake, we have here the chunky monkey, it comes with the chunky monkey ice cream, bananas, all kind of nuts and a lot of chocolate, wow, you, can, you can't even see the pancake and it also comes with little uh, gold shreds. Yeah, it's so pretty, it almost looks like a unicorn made it. And now we're gonna taste, if it tastes like a unicorn. Unicorn made up to you on the pancake. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate tastes like a Nutella. Let's take a bit of ice cream. It's a really good pancake. Very really soft and fluffy. The ice cream has kind of little um, nuts pieces in it. It's really crunchy. Wow. Sugar overload. I think they also can improve and give a bit more uh, options. They only have sweet options and they can add some of the more uh, savory and salty uh, options in their menu. I would say, yeah, you can come here if you're looking for something sweet. Uh, just don't expect, expect anything else on the menu. Expect a uh, sugar rush after <laughs> Gosh, you feel so good, honey. Yeah, we just finished a pancake and now we come for... Zen. <laughs> but we are already in the area and it was like two minutes away. So we decided to come. And they have a beautiful tree inside. Okay, so this is the menu. It's a huge menu. Look at the size of it. I can't even capture it like this. I need to go back. So... We ordered the, this one, mushroom with labane cheese, just we asked it for vegan, so probably with no labane. And we also ordered the artichoke pasta, it's a Italian pasta with garlic, cumin oil and all kind of seasoning. And for drinks we lemon. took, of course, and a lemon, and for drinks we took the orange, orange carrot. Orange and carrot together come with uh, some cinnamon, cinnamon stick, and lemongrass lemon and ginger. I discover I really like ginger. I keep discovering new stuff I like with Henchan. Here is the drink. So here we have the taco and carrot with ginger. Let's try it. Nice. A spawn carrot uh, flavor. I don't think you feel the ginger. Next, uh, last time I tried a ginger drink, the flavor was way, way tiny more bit, dominant. Tiny here bit you, of uh, ginger um, slices. Yeah, here you mostly feel the carrot. It's nice. I think the other one we tried was a bit better. Okay, so here we have the mushrooms and here we have the artichoke pasta and we're gonna dig in now, it's the dakimas. Okay, as for the food review, the baked mushroom was seasoned to the point, but the dish seems lacking. Uh, I think since they removed the labane, they should have replaced it with something else. As for the artichoke pasta, the pasta was well cooked, but it was really salty, so it kind of overtook all of the other flavors. Both of the dish look really beautiful and uh, pleasing to the eye. Uh, I would mention it's quite an expensive restaurant since it's a chef restaurant, so just take it in consideration. As for the drink, it was really basic and I don't think it justified the price. So in overall, I give the whole experience 8.5. Amazing bites I'm gonna have. Look at it, it's so hard to slice. 